my people hope everybody's having themselves a fine thursday um if you don't mind will you please hit that like button right down yonder and uh if you do you automatically be entered to win yourself a brand new band-aid uh it's walmart brand but it's pretty good band-aid works pretty good um guys make sure you check out uh red hill cutlery for all your uh knife buying needs and uh also uh subscribe share hit the bell notification if you don't mind um also check out apex alchemy uh on youtube uh good dude good channel um i'd like to thank my patrons jeremy thomas tom david and ken uh if you are interested in patreon um there is a link in the description i'm going to be doing a giveaway on patreon here uh actually on on the regular channel here and on patreon i'm going to do it in the next few days um you can also support the channel uh, by buying strops i sell uh hand make cut sand and fit them all by hand um two for 40 and that is uh preloaded with a compound or diamond emulsion of your choice so uh that absolutely helps the channel out and you get something tangible in your hands which is also awesome um I just got off work. My hands are a train wreck. Sorry, I'm bleeding. Not actually bleeding still, but um, change the background here. Hope everybody enjoys it a little better than the sticker background. That is a hot mess of madness. Um, so there you go. Today we're going to talk about this little guy. This is a Hinderer knives half track. And magna cut and this is a usa blade um as far as i know it's a usa blade uh exclusive uh that's where this guy came from um this is in the working finish there's your magna cut there it is a triway um which means it can run on bearings uh teflon washers or pb washers and they furnish all of those to you there you are in the box there oops sorry Gotta get used to this thing being lower than it used to be. Um, here's what they come in. So there's all your extra parts, and it is hand assembled and tuned by whoever this fella is. Um, it also comes with a couple stickers. Ooh, I like it 35. I didn't even see that one a minute ago. That uh, 35 sticker. I'm gonna keep that one for sure um whether or not i keep this knife or not so uh, i i'm i'm digging the fact that it's in magna cut i actually like the blade shape as crazy as it looks it looks extremely useful to me um the full uh, the uh, finger tool does work uh but man this knife is small um it's quite small and it has a little bit of lock stick which is not too big of a deal because it's brand new i didn't get it directly from usa made blades i got it in a trade i traded that um uh terrain 365 invictus for it which i got a pretty good trade there in my opinion but um the lock stick i can get rid of uh almost always almost always so we'll see more than likely it'll go away because it does have a lock bar insert i'm just guessing since it's brand spanking new that's why it's doing that but <clears throat> um this is only be my second knife i've ever had in magna cut so uh and the first one i didn't test and i wish i would have so i think i'm going to test this one um so it's working finish it's some awesome stuff from uh the the finish is awesome from hinderer uh it hides marks and scratches and snail trails so well it's unbelievable honestly it is i've had many many hinderers and uh i, I love them as a brand and i love the knives um <clears throat> kind of wish this was a little bigger um so more than likely i'll end up trying to trade this for a full-size hinderer but We'll see what happens. I might fall in love with this little guy. Uh, looks like it could open some packages like nobody's business. Uh, cut down cardboard, all that good stuff. So uh, hopefully it does. Um, it is nice and thin behind the edge, which is not normal for a hinderer. 
Um, it does not have thumb studs, but it has these little fullers there. And if you catch it just right, I'm not going to be able to do it under the camera, but you can finger flick it. Um, uses a standard hinderer pocket clip that goes on all hinderer knives, so uh, that's cool. So you can take a different one off of another knife and put it on here if you want. They sell all kinds of upgraded um, hardware you can get a titanium scale which is what I would do if I kept this if I keep this um, even though I do like the OD green that's absolutely my jam but um, I don't know we'll see it is uh, riding on the bearings now it's not drop shut so you could definitely tell it's brand new um, I might switch it to the washers honestly um, I just prefer uh, washers over bearings. Um, let me see what else we got here. It did come centered. Um, Hinderer Knives is a production, American production company, and they make a ton of knives, but almost always, the day that they drop, they sell out. Almost always. Um, and I'm not sure if these did or not, but more than likely they did. And this is the first Hinderer I've ever seen in Magna Cut. Typically, they use, um, their base steel is 20 CV, uh, and then they, you see runs of S45, of uh, M390, uh, if it's DLT, um, special versions. Um, uh, Monkey Edge does 3V versions, which this is, this is the perfect uh, style knife for a uh, 3V blade, but like I said, this is the first one I've ever seen that is in Magna Cut, so I want to see... Uh, in theory, it should be uh, quite awesome, but we'll have to wait and see. Ah, sorry, I need to. I'm drinking coffee, man. I'm wore out. Um, I don't know. Anybody else have one of these? Let me know what you think about it. And also, I've never handled a full track. If any of y'all have a full track, let me know how you like it better, because um, it is a much much bigger knife. I'd really like to get my hands on a full track. Um, I've never handled one of those, one of these, until today. I've never handled uh, uh, an XM24, which would be my ideal hinderer. That's probably, uh, I'll probably track one down one day when I can afford it. But, um, I don't know. Let me know. Also, let me know in the comments if you like this background better, if it's working out, if you think it's going to work out. That's all I got for y'all today. Um... Again, make sure you hit the like button if you don't mind, please. Uh, subscribe. I am going to do a giveaway soon. I'm going to give away that really nice carbon fiber uh, uh, Tucson knife. It is an excellent, excellent, excellent knife for the money. It's only about a $100 knife, but it is quite good. Quite good. Um, I'll be getting that back. It's out on loan. I'll get that back in a couple days. And then I'll go ahead and run it for a giveaway. And then I'm also going to do a higher end giveaway on Patreon. Um, just to show my appreciation. And I do appreciate you all. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, just remember, tomorrow's Friday. Later.